Jason, Sennheiser Digital mm. Speech Line. Yeah, Speech Line Digital Wireless from Sennheiser. Look, I'm really, really impressed by this. You're actually, the audio you're hearing right now is uh, I'm talking on the handheld, Julius. And I'm on the Lavellia. Yeah, Lavellia. Beautiful. Um, so, Speech Line, as you quite rightly pointed out, the clue is in the name. This product is very, very squarely aimed at speech applications. So mm. we're talking corporate and education. Segment. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're deliberately emphasising in all of the marketing and the way it's positioned mm. that it's not really a music performance product. It's for managing a lot of, of radio mics in a you know small corporate space or, a, or even a larger university yeah, campus. 1.9 1. gig. Um, mm. You can run up to 20 sets. Yeah, there's in, I'm increasingly seeing more uh, stuff in the DECT band coming mm. out. It's away from Wi-Fi. It's theoretically globally oh, safe and no government is going to mess with it. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, heard that before. Well, that's the promise they make. That is, that is. It's 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 kind of you know, globally agreed on that nobody's going to monkey with that space. Yeah. Now, um, I've really enjoyed opening and getting Sennheiser product up and running lately. From the packaging, the experience, and the actual menu layout, um, getting a computer connected. Um, so this is um, cockpit, so control cockpit from uh, Sennheiser. You just you can be on a network with um, up to with all these devices. You can name them, you can change the settings, you can turn the low cut on, you can monkey with the IP settings. That was really, really simple to get up and running. It's even easier to do stuff off the front panel. We've adjusted, mm. we've adjusted levels. I've changed the IP address on this, no problem. I think a beautiful little button I found. You can pr press one that says user manual and it'll put a QR code on the front of the box mm. and you could scan that and go straight to the user manual. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, there are three different uh, packages. There's mm -hmm. the handheld, there's the belt pack with the lav mm -hmm. and uh, there's a headset mic mm -hmm. with the belt pack. Um, these are USB rechargeable. Yep. Um, quite a long battery life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 15 hours lithium ion. Yeah. Or you can buy the optional recharger and, and whack them mm. in there. And look, nice out of, metal. It's yes, a nice beautiful metal pack. build quality. Now, yeah. out, out of the box, they, they paired immediately. They yep. did exactly what they said. It's meant to be easy wireless. It pairs, it scans. You can do a walk test again off the front. Uh, it just did it all straight away. Mm. And in that whole, let's just get it into the building, get it up and running, and you know, it manages itself. It even manages, it even auto levels. So this is really for that, you know, control as much as possible without someone there and yet you know somebody a bit techie can be sitting on the other end of the computer and you can pretty do much anything from the app which runs uh, on a browser so you can be on any device and control it you can go into your wireless network you can go wired and you know it's it's just simple easy and a joy to use I think they've done really well and this is something we're seeing consistently out of Sennheiser at the moment is really good design thinking and manufacturing excellent mm. Well, if you found that informative, please like us and share us with your friends and please subscribe. Thank you.